Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to From the Holler. If you're new, my name is Missy, and I was editing the video for today and realized I didn't have an introduction for what was going on in this video. So, that's what this one's about. Today's video is our What's for Dinner Weekend Edition. Weekend Edition! We are pulling from our pantries, we are pulling from our freezers, and y'all, we cooked up some amazing suppers over the weekend. I'm just saying, hands down, amazing. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up as it helps the channel tremendously. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit it now and join us on our journey as we are working through our pantries and our freezers and getting our garden ready and all the things because y'all a garden adds to our pantries and it just makes it all cohesive and come together so anyway thank y'all for watching and i hope you enjoy this video it's time to cook supper y'all tonight i'm making my meatloaf mashed potatoes with sour cream and sauteed green beans. So let's get this meatloaf on. Y'all, it has been a rest day here. I got a few things done this morning and I have just sat down and rested today. It was a busy week. It was yucky and rainy outside and cold and so I just kind of took the day off so all right so I've got my meat kind of broke up in there there we go one egg I'm gonna add one onion or actually probably half of an onion we're gonna put garlic powder oh, onion powder pepper and a little bit of salt. All right, Paps likes his a little on the drier side. So I'm gonna wait on putting the ketchup in and my binding is gonna be oats. I use old fashioned oats. So let me get some of these out and y'all don't measure. I just kinda feel it in my heart. <laughs> so let me grab something to get some oats out. All right. We're just going to add these in here. I'll tell y'all a funny story about my meatloaf. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the way I've made meatloaf all my life. It's how I was taught to make meatloaf, and this is the way I make it. Well, when Paps and I first got married, uh, if you can hear Aiden, sorry about that. When Paps and I first got married, this is how I made it. Um, and one day, out of the blue, he decided to tell me that my meatloaf doesn't taste like his mother's meatloaf. Mm-hmm, he went there. And I looked at him and politely told him that his mama can make him his meatloaf from here on out. And I refused to make him this dish anymore after that y'all he it has just been within the last year that i have started making him meatloaf again so he went about 22 23 years without me making meatloaf okay <laughs> so now i'm getting my hands in here yeah that was not cool I'm just going to get my hands in here. We're going to get all this mixed together. It is super cold because those onions are still a little bit frozen. And he doesn't like ketchup on top of his meatloaf. I love it. He does not. So I put ketchup on one end of mine and the other end I just leave kind of plain. So that he can have that. And I can already tell I'm going to need a little bit more 
of the oatmeal. Now, if you want to use saltine crackers, you can do that. Whatever you want to use in your meatloaf, that is fine. This is just how I have made mine, how my grandmother made hers. We always used oatmeal, always. All right, I'm gonna add just a little more ketchup. about another quarter cup of oats and I dumped them. Told y'all I'd make a mess. It's okay. All right, that should be good. That should be plenty. I want to add a little more garlic powder to this. There we go. Since it's already got the onions in it, I won't add any more onion powder. Just the garlic powder. I like the flavor the garlic powder gives. We are a big garlic family. There we go. That's feeling much better. All right. There we go. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. All right, I'm going to pull my bacon dish over here. We're going to get this out. Put it in there. Like that. There goes the streak through. <laughs> oh. I got to say thank you to everybody for being so concerned about him while he's been sick and sending all the thoughts and prayers to him. Yeah, we appreciate it so much. He is definitely feeling better and full of energy again. As uh, my mama would say, he's full of piss and vinegar. So, that is for sure. All right, so there's that. He's in there talking big to Patch right now, so. All right. Now I've got my oven preheated to 375. There we go. I am going to add just a little bit more salt to the top here. Like that. There we go. All right. I'm going to choose this end down here. To add my ketchup to and then that way he doesn't have to have it on his because y'all love a good meatloaf sandwich mm -hmm. love a good meatloaf sandwich all right there we go this is going in the oven on 375 for about well, with this size, about 30 to 45 minutes. I'll start checking it at 30. We'll see where it's at. So, you just want it to cook through, okay? So, let me get this in the oven. All right, our meatloaf. Woo! Sorry. Our meatloaf is out over here. I have got a skillet going right here. Got my taters going over there for mashed taters. I got to get my cornbread on. So, let's... Bump this up to 400. We gotta get cornbread on here in just a minute. Now I gotta go find my tongs to get my green beans started. Alright, now make sure that butter's mixed in. I, what I've got in here is about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of unsalted butter and just a little bit of olive oil. And we're just going to make sure that that's mixed together good. And we're going to add in our green beans. I just snipped the ends off of these and culled any bad ones out. And that's what we've got left right there. Oh, there's one. So now I'm going to add 
just a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. There we go. Now I just want to make sure that everything is coated. All my beans are coated with the butter and the oil and all the things. And I'm going to let these just sit here and saute for a little bit. I've got these on medium high, so about a six on my stove. And I think that's where I'm going to leave them for right now, especially until my potatoes get a little closer to done. I got to put cornbread on, y'all. We'll be right back. This is how Pat Flax is. Okay, let me show y'all. Do you see that blistering? That crust on there almost? That's the way he likes his. Okay. Me? Not so much. I still like mine with a little natural crunch to them. So we kind of meet somewhere in the middle where some of them are crusty the way he likes it. And some of them are the way that I like it. Yeah, I might try something you know. Since he ain't in here, he's in his office. We may try something you know. <laughs> yes. All right, let me reach over here and stir these taters because I think they're about done. Yep. They oh, yeah, they're done. All right, let me get those taken care of. Get them mashed up. Alright, y'all. We're going to do something a little different. With our beans, I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I have seen people do this, and I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot. We're going to do that. There we go. Whew, that's going to be so good. Alright. These are done. I'm going to turn these off. And I'm going to move over here to the other side. I'm going to mash these taters up. Then all we like is the cornbread. And it'll be done in just a few minutes. Good morning, everybody. So, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to From the Holler. We're getting supper on early. And tonight, we're going to have some barbecue pork, pulled pork. Well, I'm going to have barbecue pulled pork. Paps is probably just going to have pulled pork. Okay? Because he is not a fan of barbecue sauce. He likes it in moderation. I should say that. So, first of all, I'm going to get, <laughs> if I can, I'm going to get some mustard on here. And I'm probably going to empty this one out. But we're going to slather this boneless butt roast up in some mustard. There we go. There we go. That's good. Alright, I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to slather this all over like this right here. I'm going to flip it. Flip it over. We're going to do the same to that fat. I am not going to trim any of that off because that is going to be so good. All right, there we go. 
So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of our Jack Daniels pork rub, y'all. If I can open it with one hand. Maybe, there we go. We're just going to go in. We're going to be pretty, pretty liberal with that. And I'm just going to rub that in. In with that mustard. Mm. I'm going to make sure that that rub is all over my pork roast. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to do this and the sides. Ooh, this smell. This smells amazing. Amazing. Get the sides good. Everybody's just starting to wake up here. Starting our Sunday morning routine. It's supposed to be up in almost 70 today in the high 60s so hopefully I can get out there in the garden here in a little while and get some stuff done if it's dried out enough ooh there is get that in there real good all right so there's that we are ready to take this over and get it in our slow cooker and I've got a surprise waiting on it over there so let's move over to the other side and get this in our crock pot all right we're over here on the other side so I am just gonna pick this up whoop nope let me rinse my hands all right on the bottom here I have got some of my home canned mock pineapple which I made out of zucchini last year so we're gonna put few pieces of this on the bottom and if we get that juice in there we get that juice in there because I'm fixing to put it in there anyway all right there we go and I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna wind up putting all that juice in there most of it most of it there we go and then I am just going to set this right on top of all that. There we go. I think I need to flip it. Oh my goodness. I think I do. There we go. There we go. I got to rinse my hands again. All right. Now we're just going to put the lid on here. And we're going to turn this on for about on low. Let it go. For about eight hours and there we go supper is on now if I decide to do pulled pork sandwiches tonight then I'll go ahead and make some hamburger buns to go with it if not then that's what we'll be having for supper tomorrow night so I'll make hamburger buns tomorrow we'll decide that here in a little bit y'all I'm gonna try a piece of this mock pineapple this is the first time I've used it and I've not tried it yet Wow, that, that is really good. Tastes like pineapple. It really does. All right, y'all, let's move on to other things. Y'all, supper's ready. Look at that pulled pork. It is delicious. And uh, I'm going to make me a sandwich. So... Y'all know I said I wasn't going to buy any bread this year. That I was going to make all my own. Well, somebody decided they wanted pulled pork sandwiches. And I didn't have time to make my own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I had to go buy. I had to go buy a pack of hamburger buns at our little local store out from us. Y'all, 
I didn't pay attention. They expired February 23rd. Uh, there's no mold or anything on them. They're still soft. But y'all, I didn't think I needed to pay attention. You know, okay. clearly I did. So I'm gonna get my sandwich made. I know a lot of people like pickles on theirs or different things. I'm just a plain Jane. Uh, even fried up some french fries to go along with. And that's supper tonight. We've been working out in the garden all day. And I am done. Now, I'm going to fix Aiden a little plate. He will probably not eat a lot of this. I don't know that he's ever had pork roast. So, this should be interesting. We'll see. That and some fries. And I may wind up fixing him something else here in a little bit. So, now I'm going to go grab the ketchup. I'm going to go sit down and eat.